Well, I just received my super taster test in the mail. It's uh, supposed to be a test that tells you if you have a high density of taste buds, I guess. Uh, I always suspected I had because I taste a strong bitter flavor in a lot of foods. And unfortunately I also taste it with capsation, which kind of sucks because I like capsation. Um, this came with it. One of the things they say is, an increased number of taste buds has an impact on the way foods taste. Super tasters tend to dislike strong, bitter foods like raw broccoli, grapefruit juice, coffee, and dark chocolate. I don't like grapefruit juice, I don't like coffee, and I don't like dark chocolate. But I do like raw broccoli. Never really tasted much of anything with raw broccoli. Super tasters tend to find highly fatty and sugary foods less palatable than other non-tasters. Well, I actually like sugary foods, but we'll see. Alright, here's the directions. The super taster test is a simple diagnostic tool that will help determine if you are a super taster. It is the same assay used extensively in university classrooms and research laboratories across the country. The enclosed test strips have been impregnated with a safe chemical that will taste a certain way depending on your genetic makeup. Place one strip on your tongue. After a few seconds, remove the strip from your mouth. Note how the paper tastes. Super tasters will find the paper extremely bitter. Tasters will detect a mild, bitter, and or bland taste. And non-tasters will taste nothing. I have no idea what a non-taster is other than somebody who's had firework go up their nose. Here's the test strips. Came with it. And uh, give it a try. Oh. Oh. I think we have our answer. Oh. That would be much better if it was an IPA. All right. I'm a super taster. Apparently. Uh, you can get the tests from them. I forget the website, but it's supertaster.org or some such thing. They're only about five bucks in the mail, so go for it. It's fun. Torturous. Bye.